people injected into the wall have not been as glamorous and exciting as the world thought. Is the purpose of life to be glamorous? The question is this. I can't tell you your purpose. I could, because you know, the Lord will sometimes give me a prophecy for you. Sometimes I'll tell you. And if you tell me not to tell you, guess what? Hello? What do you think? I'll say, what do you think? Well, it's the Lord. I'll say, do you think the Lord is? Because that's an easy way for folks sometimes to blame you if something don't go right. Well, you said, what do you think? Because it comes down to a personal relationship yourself. To know yourself. Can you hear the voice of the Lord? Now, are you listening to everybody else's voice? And tuning him out? Or are you unfamiliar with him? And you don't know him? mama's voice when she calls my name. I know my husband's voice. We were in a crowd. I know the voice. I know my sister's voice. But do you know the voice? Can you hear what he's speaking to you? Or are you so busy that you just tune him out? I got time for that. I'll get back to that. Uh, so, you're always asking God for something. I'm praying and asking God. But how much are you listening to him talk to you? Have you picked up your Bible? Are you seeking God on a daily basis? Are you waiting until something happened and here you go? I hear that asking by else. Well, I'm going to pray now. I'm going to ask the Lord. Okay, again, when you pray and you talking to God, shut up. Let him talk to you. You don't try to seek everything else. Well, maybe I'll go to this Bible. It's just so hard to read. I'm like, you don't want it. Oh, oh. Right. Ain't nothing complicated. Not In fact, sometimes it's too plain. Free, free. And you don't want to hear and receive the truth. Because right. I'm a witness. You need an answer? You ask God to show you in this word? I'm telling you what I know. He'll take you right there, brother. Plain before your faith. Okay, Lord. I know. All right. So what are you looking for in the world with stars? Because that's not your answer. We're in the world, but we're not of the world. We function in this world, but we shouldn't be getting excited about the same thing that the world's getting excited about. We shouldn't find a whole lot of pleasure and enjoyment in the same thing that the world is finding pleasure and enjoyment in. That. We are peculiar. We are set up right. Blink, 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 or are you shiny? Okay. They can't tell the difference between your little blink, blink, and they blink, blink. Because you're supposed to be shiny, and you're twinkling. You're supposed to be like a city set up on a hill. Can't be here. Uh-oh. Ain't nothing wrong with the Lord. Must be us. Numbers 24, 17 talks of the star Jacob, referencing Jesus Christ. Matthew 2 and 2 talks about the wise men coming and saying, Where is he that is born king? You want to be a star? This is, this is who I got here. King of the Jews. For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. What star are you following? Are you going with the crowd? Broad is the way. Wide is that gate that leads to destruction. But straight and narrow. Are you willing to leave the broad way to come to the straight and narrow? Or do you want to just blend in with the crowd? See, some of you, you do better when you, when you don't have to deal with you. That's what thank you Lord. You don't want to deal with you. You okay as long as somebody's around you and you don't have to be real with yourself. You need the crowd. You need the noise. It's about you being real with you. And when you have to come down and deal with yourself, it's more than you can handle. And you're right. None of us can handle it. But if you give your life to Jesus, I guarantee you, he'll handle it for you. He'll make your life beautiful. 
What do I have to do? Come as you are and give yourself to him. All he wants is you. You can't buy it. You can't earn it. What can I give in exchange for my soul? He's already paid it. He just wants you. How much do you love me, Lord? Enough to die on Calvary's cross for you. How much do you love me, Lord? I shed my blood. For without the blood, Without the blood, right. it's his blood yeah. that cleanses us yeah. and reaches yeah. to the highest mountain. Yeah. And then it flows yeah. to the lowest mountain. Yeah. The blood, yeah. the blood of Jesus, yeah. that's what it takes. Yeah. Isaiah 61 through 3 references the great light of Jesus. He is that star. His presence is manifest among his people. So young people, old people too. The young folk, in between people too. Can the world see the star that you're following? You know, I was brought up in a time, when my sister can add to it, when I was a kid growing up at home, Mama gave everybody up the hill on the street permission to correct her children. So we knew that if we went out, if we went up the hill, and she went in my hand, but if Aunt Hazel called Mama and said, New Hill, make up here doing something, she had permission to get us. And mama was gonna get us when we got home. If we went around the corner, we called a nanny. Sister Ana May, if she seen us up on that hill, they done come over on this side. Bring Lily to help her on this corner. There was nanny getting us, and we was gonna get it again when we got home. That's how we was working. Okay? And the thing was, that was, you know, a name carries a lot. That was Lucille's kids. We were taught you represent your family. My grandfather instilled it in us. You know, your name, children, your name, babies. Gooch name means something. I found that out. A name means something. Whose name are you carrying? Are you saying you have a certain name and you're not representing that name? As I instruct my kids, once my student, right, Naisha? Always my student. I never embarrass you, don't you embarrass me. Because if you do, I'm going to get you. I don't care where you're at. I'm going to get you. She can attest, that's what I said. Don't you embarrass yourself, don't you embarrass your parents, and you're not going to embarrass me. Why? You have your own name. But anytime a student does something at that school where I work at, are you Dr. Wilson's student? Not attaching their own name to them, but attaching me to them because they know there's a certain standard. Thank you, Lord. Right. What about a God? Right. He has a standard. Yes, sir. Are you upholding the standard? Or are you just trying to carry the name and then you're going to slide up? Ain't no sliding. Ain't no sliding. If I were to ask you to show me, funny they said that. If I were to ask you to show me your Facebook page, and I don't know nothing about it, so you ain't got to show me because I don't know the first thing to do it. I've never been on it, don't intend to be on it. But if I were to ask you to show me your Facebook page, or look at your latest tweet, what would it say about you? Facebook. I gotta do some FaceTime. Help me hold this. I need to do some FaceTime. Lord, what are you saying to me? No, you're too busy. 
music. When was the last time you stood a tweet to Christ? You know, the slogan is always, and you can follow me, whoever, on Twitter, and da 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 What's your tweet, and your face, and your chatting, and your snapping, and your snapping, and your chatting with the wrong one? What you don't see, and I don't go out here and say she said, don't do it, you do what you do. I know what he's called me to. But you can get so caught up in those things. And you can become so focused in doing all that stuff. Those things, those such a things, that you take away from the time. And by the time you get through snapping and chatting and tweeting and facing the book, when it comes time for the book, I'm tired. Oh, I'm not so sleepy. But you want to sleep Is it good for your soul? Or is it junk and gossip and mess that you're feeding? It? Sometimes you don't understand why stuff, it is what you are feeding yourself. It is what you spend your time doing. What are you investing in? I'm saying it's all bad because sometimes it comes down to see pictures of whatever. But again, like I said, unless that needs back there might start show me, I don't know. And then I, I, I ain't snapping, I ain't chatting, I ain't tweeting. I do good text, okay? <laughs> Took me a long time before I do that. Oh, it's the top of I'm talking this far. By the time I'm telling you, I'm trying to text you. And she laughed at me. She said, Dad ain't one. I can't do that. You're, that you and her, I'm a teacher, honey. I type out what of you. And I allow others to laugh with me. But I invest my time in what's lasting. And if you want to be able to stand, and if you want to be able to make it, you have to spend quality time with God. People wonder why they can't get an answer. You got too much interference. St. John 1, 4, 5. We're going to read this and I will soon ready to take my seat. Thank you, Jesus. St. John 1, 4, 5, 4. In him was life, and the life was the light. Amen. And a star gives light. Verse 5. And the light shineth in darkness. Hello! All right. That's you! All right. That's you! Not this world. 
It don't matter if you were the grossest sinner that there was, or if you was the most moral person that never did anything, still had to be saved. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. To the guttermost, if you drank, smoked, shot up, snorted up, laid around with everything, and if I didn't do anything but I told a lie, sin is sin. You need a heart transplant? All right. All right. Let him take out that stony heart. Jealousy, envy, malice, strife, backbite, lying, hypocrites, pretending to be something that you're not. You don't have to fail with Christ. God is real. And he makes us real. You have to go to the Why are you trying to live a double standard? The way the transgressors are. You're trying to save the save, but you're trying to hold on to all that other stuff. You got to take the one and leave the other. Okay? Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to stuff with you. The light shines in darkness. A star produces light. Jesus is the light. And through him we become children of light and must walk in the light. St. John 8, 12, Jesus said that he's the light of the world. If we follow him, we will not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. In slavery times, the slaves used the stars to make it to freedom. They were saying, follow the drinking cord. They talked in code. Sometimes the Holy Ghost make you talk in code. He don't want everybody to know what he's saying to you. He'll speak in code to you. Huh? Follow the drinking gourd. They knew, uh oh, tonight, tonight, we're going to try to make it to freedom. They would say, follow the drinking gourd, and it pointed the way to the north for slaves that were escaping to the Ohio River. If the slaves passed along the code and made their way to freedom, what about us today? Why don't you follow the star? I'm going to leave you with this thought. You don't typically see stars until it is what? Dark. And the day is past. But if you follow the one true star, the scripture says in Revelation 22, 16, that Jesus Christ is the bright and morning star. Let the light of your star shine through. God bless you.